So the triangle I'm going to talk about is the taxonomic triangle. Well, it is also known as taxonomic categories. You'll hear me at times telling taxonomic hierarchy. So yeah, these words are often used. So let's take a look at the triangle. So this triangle, uh, or rather I should call it as the taxonomic categories. The idea behind this is to classify organisms into various categories, okay, based and this categorization makes a hierarchy, right? You'll see, based on certain similar characteristic features, we have grouped organisms into a particular group. Let's see how it looks like. So first, let's not talk about the organisms. Let's, uh, let me take a practical example so that you can understand what's the objective behind this, all of this that we have done. Fine. Okay. So first, I'm showing kingdom. Okay. Kingdom. I'll compare this with the country from where I am. It's India, right? So India, I'm comparing it with the kingdom. Now, in India, there are many states. Inside the states, there will be some cities, right? Okay. So India is the country. Now, is the phylum okay phylum if i compare phylum with something that i've started with like this the country then phylum will be quite equivalent to the states i was talking about yes so what happens see many similar states combine to form the country which is the kingdom so many similar phylum so phylum having similar characteristics okay they will form the kingdom right now moving forward then inside the states what you'll have is the cities so many different cities together combined to form a particular state right so let's imagine kingdom i talk, talked about india phylum let's imagine i'm talking about karnataka then class would be the city bangalore or bangaluru or bangalore whatever you call it then inside the city what you'll have is certain areas certain localities for example the area currently i am in is known as koramangla okay there are other areas like btm okay jp nagar so these are certain areas present inside the city bangalore now here what happens is some similar order together combined to form the class correct okay now we have arrived at the similar areas now in the areas there are certain families okay so there are joint families let me compare it with a joint family but right so the family yes it is called family here also so i'm talking about the joint family now the joint families are made up of certain nuclear families okay here i'm comparing comparing it with the genus so nuclear families combined to form many nuclear families combined to form the joint families now now inside the nuclear families who are there the individuals right you me everyone right we are a part of a family yes that's a species so you understand now there are two ways of representing it you have to understand this properly i started with the highest one to the lowest one right so the country then the states, then the cities, then the localities or the areas. Then we had the joint families, then we had the nuclear families, then the individuals inside the family. You can talk it about, you can refer to it as on a different way also, right? So how? If you just think about from here to the kingdom, what will you say? So an individual is a part of a nuclear family. Now, many nuclear families form the joint family. Now, many joint families together stay in what? In a particular area. Many areas together form a city. Many cities form what? The state. Many states form the country. Correct? Exactly the same thing we have done in organisms. Now, now one thing you have to understand about this triangle. Now, this triangle you see, it's, what is it called? It's called taxonomic triangle. Now, this triangle can be represented in two forms this is the form that you're seeing is an upright form it's called an upright triangle where the vertex is to at the top right the, this is the base of the triangle 
Now this triangle can be inverted also. So what would happen? It would be something like this. It's an inverted triangle, right? Here is the vertex and this is this the base becomes comes at the top. Now, two ways of representing I have shown you. Generally, when we talk about hierarchy, we always talk from bottom to the higher position, right? So the bottom lowermost things that is the species will be at the bottom and the highest will be which is kingdom at the top. So this is a representation in which the triangle is an inverted triangle. So you have to understand this properly. Now let's talk about the characteristic features. Well, so as and when we go from kingdom to the species, what happens? Here, here the number of organisms that is present in a particular kingdom is much, much, much higher than the number of organisms which is present in a particular species. So we are talking about all categories, all groups, right? Okay, so once more, the species will have the lowest number of organisms compared to the organisms in a kingdom. Now let me give you a small example. Kingdom Animalia. Well, Kingdom Animalia comprises of all animals, all. In fact, we human beings are also involved, are also included in Kingdom Animalia. So the number is huge. But if I talk about the species, individual, for example, the Homo sapiens, we human beings. So then it becomes species, the number becomes less. But something is, something becomes more. What is that? The similarity between two individuals in a species is much, much higher compared to two individuals in a kingdom. Right? So as and when you move from species to kingdom, the similarities decrease. Fine. As and when you move from species to kingdom, then the number of organisms increase. You have to remember this. Fine. Questions are often asked related to this concept. Fine. Now the question is, how would you remember the sequence? It's biology. Let's find out some way. Well, you can use this way. King, Paul, cried out for good soup. Isn't it interesting? See, you have actually, if you just remember this, King Paul cried out for good soup. You can remember the sequence, right? From the kingdom to the species, fine? You can try it yourself also. You can try to make one, right? Okay, let me do one thing. Let me try to make right now one uh, new sequence right now. Let me think about it. Okay, uh, let's try. You also try. I'm thinking about something new because this one is something which I already knew, right? So right now I'm going to introduce something I'll create something new, okay? Well, so what we can do is, well, let's try it. We can try like this. Kids, well, phylum, play, class, we can take cricket. Then order and family, we can take, okay. Kids play cricket on fine, okay? Then G, grassy, space, right? It works, right? This is something randomly I, I made it right now to show you that you can also make it. See, kids, kingdom, play, phylum, cricket, class, on, order, fine, family, genus, grassy, space, is species. So like this, you can also try whichever is comfortable for you to use. Fine, try it. Well, so you understood this taxonomic triangle. It's called taxonomic hierarchy. You just have to remember one thing. The kingdom is at the highest hierarchy and species at the lowest, but representation can be two ways. One in this form, that's a upright triangle. Another in which you talk about the hierarchy form, which is an inverted triangle like this.